Hi guys. Magpie tail, another Clydesdale wet fly. So I've started my thread just behind the eye. I've took it all the way up to the hook point and I'm gonna go back with it. Now with the thread at the eye, I'm taking the three turns of the thread backwards. Now those three turns are best for the hook size 14. If you got a smaller hook 16, it's going to be just two turns. If it's going to be hook 12, it's going to be four, maybe five turns. And that way I'm positioning uh, the weight on the shank. Now for the wing, I'm going to use the magpie tail feathers. Um, got here pretty good match for a left and right wing. So I've separated the fibers uh, for both wings. Then I've tear them off from the stem of the feather. I'm going to lay them down both together to form the wing. I've mashed the both sleeps, uh, I've laid down the both tips together, uh, now I'll measure up the wing against the shank to get the proper length of it and I'm going to tie the wing down. Three turns to get it secured. The wing appeared to be slightly away from above the hook, so I've pulled by the tips and place it where it should be. Cut the excess material off. For the hack, well, I'm using just a simple Chinese hen, it's a natural black. Uh, I've cleared the stem from unwanted fibers, holding it by the tip. I've drawn back required amount of the fibers for just about two turns. Now I've secured the hack by the tip. Cut the excess as usual. Now with a hackle plier holding up my feather, I'm drawing the fibers back and I'm going to start to make the turns around the shank. to hold it down and again cut the excess off. Three 
returns with a whip finish and cut the tread off. Cover it off the varnish to finish the head off. Thanks for watching.